Panning, are you ready to make cashew milk yogurt? I sure am, okay. Kaylee. There are certain people on the SED who can't tolerate dairy, so we thought we'd show you how to make a nut-based yogurt. You can also make a um, coconut milk yogurt or a, an almond milk yogurt, mm. um, but we're gonna choose to make cashew milk today. I feel like it's a much richer flavor. Great. So go ahead, um, what the first thing we're gonna do is I have filtered water here and you wanna use filtered water because the chlorine can inhibit the growth of bacteria. So I'm just mm. gonna put about half a cup because I have half a cup of cashews and I'm going to, sorry, I'm gonna, can, I, can I repeat that? I'm gonna put half a cup of water in here because they're a half a cup of cashews and it's kind of okay. a one-to-one -one dilution. And I'm gonna heat this up. And why the date's there is because it adds a little bit of sugar so that the bacteria can feast on it. Um, and that's why we're gonna sweeten it up a little bit. Plus it gives it a nice fragrant, datey kind of smell. So I'm just gonna microwave this. And I have one already microwaved All for right. you. And I will strain this into the blender. And this is just date juice, huh, that you've yep. soaked? That I that I microwaved and soaked in warm water, yep. How That's long did you soak it for? When I, I microwaved it for like a minute and a half, two minutes, just till the water gets warm. Okay. And then I just let it sit there until I'm ready to get to it. So you don't have to soak it for, for Too much long. time at all. Awesome. So that's about four ounces of water and we'll put about four ounces or half a cup of cashews as well. Mm. And then we're gonna put a tiny dash of salt in it, okay? Okay. So just a dash of salt. There Great. you go. Um, and again, the salt, like the noose mentioned in one of her other videos, um, it brings out the flavor of, of the nut. So make sure you, um, this, this can be kind of tricky. Yes, you gotta <laughs> give me all the tips. All right. Okay, and then we're gonna turn it on and pulverize the daylights out of it. Okay, so I think Is we've got a nice- Is good enough? Thick consistency. Oh yeah, that's what pretty do you good. Think? Yeah, that's really good. Um, you know, sometimes I put a dash of salt in it just to bring out the flavor, but whether or not you put salt is totally up to you. Okay. Why don't we just skip it this time since I forgot okay. um, earlier. So go ahead and put it in there. And remember, cashew milk does not have any um, lactose. So for the SEDers, you don't have to ferment it for 24 hours. You only need to let it sit for about six to eight hours in a warm bath, again, 105 to 110. Um, and after about six to eight hours, it should be plenty tart to use as yogurt. Mm. Um, and I guess we made m m much less than we thought. It's okay. Um, wait, uh, yeah, and then let's put the culture in. Okay. Okay. So How we much made uh, we made about just a cup here, and remember I said about two to five percent of the milk volume um, is how much. Um, culture you add. So for half a liter, it's about a tablespoon. It's three mm -hmm. percent. So we'll, this is Maybe. like a quarter of a liter. So a we'll quarter of a like teaspoon. A teaspoon. Yeah. Teaspoon. Yeah. Okay. And there then we just go. mix it really, really well. Mm, it's nice and thick. It's like cream. Mm -hmm. It's just like cream. All right. And then you want to cover it. And this goes back in the yogurt maker for six to eight hours. Okay, we are back. The yogurt has um, fermented for six to eight hours and we've cooled it down in the fridge. Now we're gonna spoon it out. And you wanna cool it down at least three to four hours um, so that it thickens, so you can see how thick that mm. is. It's nice. And then we're gonna sprinkle some pomegranate on top. That sounds great. All right. And then I'm gonna take a bite of that. Okay. You should taste right. it. Tell us. Okay. Little tiny bite. Mm. Tart. Really tart, really yummy. Enjoy.